it doesn't happen often but from time to time you see the beautiful papers and you are in love that's what happened to me when i saw these for the first time someone have shared a gorgeous project in the cafe group on facebook and i was like what is that brand i've never seen those papers i have never seen those designs i don't know the brand i'm sure because i somehow would notice it and i knew it that uh, i need to have them from the moment i saw the design i was in love i have to say that it was very difficult to get those papers because i only found one place which is the original website and there was not a full collection available only few pages that's why i have as you can tell i think four of each design i didn't even know what's on the back of the paper but only after receiving i was like wow they are gorgeous on both sides so therefore i'm even more happier that i got four of each or maybe five one <laughs> two three four okay i got five of each and um, firstly i thought if i'm gonna use those uh, mushrooms i really wish to have a cluster of mushrooms so i need more so for the actual idea of using several mushrooms and also for future projects and also because what if it's discontinued what if i will never be able to to buy these gorgeousness papers i thought i'm gonna get them and now seeing that there is even something more prettier on the back i love it even more and i'm glad that i got five of each of the papers so we have mushrooms with the beautiful oopsie with the beautiful um some kind of woody elements then we have those gorgeous door and we have some other door on the back i hope you don't mind me showing this but the, uh, gorgeous and the brand if you're wondering it's called la Bla blanche la blanche uh, they are from germany i have emailed them asking about the new papers because i saw that there are some gorgeous new papers uh, coming i'll show you and when i received the when i received the order there is it's called empty room so i'm guessing in germany uh, that this is the new collection that it's going to be soon available which is come on gorgeousness i absolutely love this one the, no sorry <laughs> scratch that i love everything about this honestly i haven't feel this inspired or this um, in love or charmed i don't know if they were included in the collection in the big version and if you and la blanche watching this video right now please bring the papers back please bring the collection back please do a reprint i'm sure there's so many people wishing to to, to purchase these gorgeousness papers i'm hoping to use those today and create some beautiful design i don't think it's going to be difficult because truth to be told with the gorgeousness like that it's going to be super easy my beautiful friends i'm back to you the next day because there was so much fussy cutting and then something was just i don't know making my head super busy with other stuff and to be honest kind of family related things so i'm back today in the morning girls are in school lucas is on the couch doing taxes and yearly stuff for the business and i have all all the gorgeousness fussy cut elements here and you know what my original initial idea was let's make a journal page but then when I have uh, started fussy cutting and realizing how big are the elements which I totally love I was like let's do canvas and I'm thinking about these doors being fitted in here somehow in there and then adding these gorgeousness some of these gorgeousness elements in front of it and maybe may, maybe finding some fairy as well i'm not too sure how many of you is familiar with those fairies i love those postcards i have used these uh, many times love them so much and it's great value for the price because you get so many postcards with all the fairies and it's a, a gorgeous idea for focal point so i found three color scheme that could match up and i'm thinking possibly i found this one is the first one which pinky pinky it's actually matching and it's lovely could be it then I found this girl which she's also matchy matchy but then somehow it felt that this one matches that if she would be like hiding hiding behind or something or maybe we can use two of that's actually is it the same is it the same kid no it's not <laughs> I think this one so I'm gonna fussy cut this one 
my beautiful friends, I decided that maybe not necessarily, I'm gonna use those doors. Look at this one. Because when this is on the back and it's behind everything, it's really cluttered, it's really busy and we can't really see the beauty of the mushrooms and the elements. Like this would be so amazing with some little elements because it's so gorgeous as it is. So I decided to, first of all, let's move everything aside. I'm gonna use these as well. I would love them to be used on the corners and I also will have the elements and we're gonna do like a shadow box sort of idea although <laughs> my initial idea was to make a journal page I may do that for a membership maybe maybe I'm gonna have some journal page for members if you wish to join in general membership I rarely speak about it but maybe you would like to and see some other uh, inspirational videos. I also will jump in with the old book pages. I'm gonna use, I can't reach it, sorry. I'm gonna use these old book pages everywhere. I'm gonna use gel medium to stick it and then I'm gonna use a paint that will kind of keep everything nice and smooth and nice together. I will, that's, I, I, I'm just, I decided <laughs> that I'm gonna do a, a mixture collage, like collage sort of thing with those papers, so plenty of gel medium. All my gel mediums are pretty old, I won't lie. They, they really are old-ish, so uh, they may not be as sticky or they dry super fast, like this one seems to be like nearly dry fast, but that's okay. Let's just jump in with that here, approximately. Kind of, kind of straight, ki kind of. It's okay if it's not. Um, let's have maybe this one there, why not? Mm -hmm. So let's do this. Extra, extra gel medium. Now, why am I doing, like, you could probably jump in with just the paper and um, the paint right away rather than what I'm doing right now and jumping with the old book pages. I love the idea of old book pages in general. I love using it. I think it's, <laughs> if it's easy to put it in, but it's not. Let's try, oh, like this. Oh, just make it straight a little bit. Super awesome, okay. I just love old book pages. I love using them in all sorts of art of mine. Whether I'm doing a journal page or a collage or like right now what we're doing which is uh, canvas. Why not? I love that. Now, the bigger one could be like here. Mm -hmm. Probably would make more sense or maybe faster to go directly on the book page with the gel medium But the problem with it is that these book pages are really old and they're really delicate And my fear is that I'm gonna break it even more so possibly This seems to be quite not a bad idea to just do it. It's just a little bit difficult I guess there we go awesome and we need to straighten it a little just a, a little bit there we go, voila. And gel medium here. Oops, that's a lot of medium. <laughs> that's a lot of medium. That's okay. Oh, we can clean it off. There we go. Super, super, super. Now, if something is sticking out as well, it's fine because everything is gonna be like, you know, it's gonna be 3D effect of the shadow box anyway, so it's okay. Now, let's have this one somewhere like this. Most of this is gonna be invisible, like not visible that much. Come on, it's not easy, where is it gonna down? We did it. Uh, most, is, most of it is gonna be gone, which is okay. Um, but I still would love to have the possibility of using uh, all the book pages because I hope that some of the text will be peeking through, will be visible, like here. There we go, just a little bit. And I'm not saying it has to be everywhere or like cover more most of it, you know. <laughs> See, all the book pages have been ripping in a funny way. There we go, that could be going here. Jovely, lovely. I think it's a great idea for background, the old book page. It just works every time, I think. And it's fantastic. So, there we go. Extra gel medium here. 
No, I'm, I still didn't decide about the sides of the of the um, canvas. There we go. I love that already. <laughs> Something of this sort. There we go. There's possibly we need some glue there. Maybe here. No. What we could do is leave this to dry and just scrape off the excess with the filer, nail filing thing or something like that. We could do that and I think this is exactly what I'm gonna do. How about or adding or maybe these I'm gonna just glue down inside there. There we go, the inside bits they're sticking out so I'm gonna use my finger that's gonna be even faster better I guess easier most definitely easier my Lucas is right now sitting <laughs> at the laptop looking for uh, this year season uh, gold markers online because my favorite one is nearly gone so his mission is to find me some good paint markers gold silver and brownish I mean copper and stuff like that so he's actually doing pretty well so that's his job for to well not for today but for this moment anyway <laughs> and every 10 minutes he's like come here for two seconds please can you come and have a look at this one have a look at this one and he's coming up with the brands that i've never heard of having these kind of markers so that's gonna be interesting and he goes maybe you're gonna do a test on the gold markers i'm thinking hmm <laughs> maybe who knows you never know okay so that's what we have you know it it looks good to me actually it looks very good to me even when it's so uneven even if it's so rough looking I think it's just right I'm gonna get these uh, this gel medium maybe here to the water hide this one and I'm gonna grab this paint this one is dantel is it the color H006 Dantel Hybrid Acrylic Cadenza? I love this color. Do you know what I love it? It's something that came to my rescue when I was looking for stuff that are like um, gesso, but they're not gesso color. So this is like, it's not a primer, it's acrylic paint. But somehow I just so much loved having uh, using this for my background this particular paint so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hopefully just <laughs> whoops have a little bit of play here like not too much and possibly one of the good things would be to have a little bit of water down so this will water down so I'm gonna still see the text which I'm super excited about and that's why I'm having my my old book pages here but at the same time it's gonna be amazing look i'm filling those gaps <laughs> where the where we could see the actual um, canvas which is great and i think i'm gonna just jump in with the sides of the canvas with just look oh that's fabulous and also if i see anywhere oops if i see some gel medium can do that there we go so we have a bit of text um, not too much not too little I think just the right amount so we still see the text but we also have oh I love this here delicate and all uh, we have the text but we also have everything blend in lovely uh, we have like all of this is like one happy piece that it's coming together as you see which isn't but you can feel that it's kind of how it was made so I'm trying to get those sides on painted with this color it's like this natural beige color I absolutely love it when I discovered it a few months back I was like wow what a great uh, solution for blending and papers and all without having everything super white like white just a great primer okay this is not a primer but you can still possibly use a little bit of uh, clear gesso on top 
and have a feeling that um, you primed your project just with two different mediums, if you know what I mean. Okay, wow. Love, love, love. <laughs> let's, let's try this part. I also decided to do sides, which I think it's just gonna finish off lovely the project. And as you can tell, I have few spots, kind of even brighter, so the text is gone. But it's just looking, I don't know, I think it looks uh, a little bit more vintage or um, like wear and tear kind of thing, which is lovely. And the color as well, the same one on those wooden elements. Those are, would you bend, I think, or those are from online store something i don't know these are wooden elements basically to decorate if i if i'm able to find your links i will but basically those are wooden elements for furniture believe it or not so that's what we have let's focus on having stuff in the middle inside i mean <laughs> which is the same in the middle inside look how gorgeous vintage feel that is with the background being brownish text and all i think it just looks gorgeous so we have these and also so it's I think it's very important to know uh, their depth and how far things can be located because of how big they are so I think the further the higher depth or something like that which is just right I think um, uh, one thing it's interesting it's it would be difficult to kind of place this 3d issue so I may just leave this one as it is let's say something along these lines then we have this one which i was possibly hoping to add here so it's filling the gap that it's there which is lovely then we have this flowerito that i just love and i think oops and i think it looks gorgeousness gorgeousness and the text <laughs> is there i don't know why uh, this is gorgeousness as it is and I am missing fairy. I know that the whole collection uh, of Wonderland had some fairies papers, fairy elements or fairy focal points and I think they had more flowers and more leaves. I would love to have my hands on the full collection and those elements for sure. Um, honestly, I have um, I have uh, tagged the brand on my Instagram and they replied to me. So maybe if I'm able to have a chit chat on the Instagram, I'll ask them to bring the collection back and have the, the papers, the element papers to, to, for sale as a separate um, for sure because it's so needed i think i honestly don't know if this is matching now i'm sorry i'm just looking that i never got this one which i don't know if it's the squeaking floor is my husband <laughs> if you're wondering what are you doing here <laughs> um one second i just gonna cut this yeah the squeaking floor um no marta that doesn't even go there okay i'm not too sure i'm gonna have this fairy because i just don't feel she is happy being there so what i may do is i might just have the woodland guy which is him and there was another one that i have lost actually my coffee is there so cheers i need a sip for sure mm -hmm. and it's not gonna be that easy i can see but i found another fairy look at this one it's from these papers which is lexi design lexi design fairy tales it's definitely last year or two years ago or something of this kind so lexi design if you're wondering let me show you uh, the other page but here are some elements so she's on the seesaw right she could be like this so she could be like on the seesaw but at the same time she's on the <laughs> on the mushroom and i think it actually does look lovely it is filling the spa space and all my question is do we need this one this is big this is everything what about the smaller version i know it's upside down but just having a look i didn't have oh i love that that is nice as well and i found another this one the woodland I don't know what to tell you because I do know that for a fact that this fairy no I prefer this one so that's what we know for sure what else could we have instead of oh this is nice 
instead of this although I I do love this no I'm go sorry I'm gonna go back because I do love these flowers so the process of it I, I do love it okay um, <laughs> let's put them aside and let's start Marta let's start focusing on having these being glued down something like that so these are the definite and my definite is because of yeah I'm gonna use hot glue gun this time because a it's faster B it's just I don't mind and th three I like the kind of that we could end up with some kind of 3d looking look sort of thing because of the um, hot glue so there we go it's gonna be like a little bit exactly sticking out and I don't mind that quite opposite I would love that maybe so now that I'm thinking Marta why didn't you use tape yes I could have which is never too late look it is not too late that's a very old tape but I could definitely use that and have yeah the old tape that it's literally doing this imagine oh come on it's underneath so we're not gonna like see it let's do it again there we go and we could have him a little sticking out there we go sometimes the great ideas are coming when it's sort of halfway done something else but that's okay too look I think it's lovely like that that it's 3d is she there we go okay this tape is gonna be bent instead of tape I'm gonna just use cardboard and it's gonna be safer and it's gonna be equally well good if not better to be honest so that's what I'm gonna do okay and I'm thinking that it would be so lovely to have the rest of it as well 3d is she so that's what we will do I'm gonna add some of the oops of this here lovely jovely and of course in here you can't see sorry you need to trust me that that's what I'm doing <laughs> and we could have one here there we go something like that and voila super the only thing is now that we need uh, is to make this straight to glue it down properly and to there we go now one second there we go and this one must go somewhere like that oh I love it awesome now this go this glue down too much okay that's fine and let's do the same here this is gonna be easier because it's bigger and there's no um, it was just easier right away <laughs> there we go something like that so let's glue this down there we go and more oops be careful with the hot glue because it is deadly when it's hot and when you glue it down to your fingers or something it is really nasty it, it can be very bad so be very careful okay now there we go and when you especially when you are flipping around and you know especially then be very careful if she goes I think it's too late anyway but if she go perfect okay <laughs> oh I love it so much it is gorgeous I'm gonna use my hot glue for these mm -hmm. There we go however I wish to leave the gap there there we go so I'm gonna just kind of leave a tiny gap in between uh, just so we can tackle in something under there we go you can probably use as well hot um, one second Marta where did you place this one <laughs> this should be really on the edge on the corner edge silly goose that's just me there we go something like this there we go same for this one uh, I don't know what I was saying I don't know what I was saying doesn't matter there we go gorgeousness I love this wow so pretty so this could be there tuckled it in somewhere like this 
and it's just right and we can just glue it down like this super we have as well them the only thing is maybe I'm gonna skip and have just the mushrooms imagine without the house without them going this high because it's nearly too busy but something is missing on the bottom part so we could have just the mushrooms something like that like here let's say I have few of these so I may as well just <laughs> have this cotton see otherwise we're gonna be like I don't know look it's just right wow love this okay and we have this one which I somehow would love not to be like here not to be like that like it's lovely like very much on the side sure why not we could have this gorgeousness deer being there of course the fairy and this deer that could be here but hmm do we need two deers or I'm still not convinced of where he's gonna be at the end of the day this is very magical thing so it's not that your deer cannot be standing on the mushrooms right <laughs> it can can it I hope it can um, imagine if he goes like here sort of thing behind or I don't know or if we have this one and just one deer but I'm missing something on this end anyway the birdie mm, not necessarily the deer that goes this direction that probably would make sense a little bit however one thing that doesn't speak is that he is different color and it's very much standing out so maybe we could have the fairy here let's get rid of the deers not in uh, in a real sense but you know what I mean and how about having let's say this one was like extra a bit that I just fussy cut yes and no one second maybe something will be better but I think it's it's matching better than the actual than the actual deer to be honest so maybe that's what we're gonna do uh, just something here one second what else have we fussy cut we have this which isn't that great after all we have this bit oh there we go we have the answer now we're gonna just cut this one shorter I so wish to have more um, elements for fussy cut like a separate sheet of elements from this collection I think it would make such a wonderful and easier way of look at it it's just right right and we could have this one gone one second mm -hmm something like that and maybe wow yes absolutely okay so these mushrooms are gonna land there because they are very happy being there and uh, so one second we're gonna just have the the cardboard on the back then and oops that nearly flew and this one and one more cardboard ish which is oops that's too big quickly quickly super jab we could have maybe this cardboard here it will there we go that's working well and honestly because it's so wibbly wobbly I think adding another bit of cardboard was gonna be just right so here is that and this will be just right because it's covering that element that's fine then we can get rid of this tiny well, okay so here is that in theory I love the fairy there I think she's a, such a perfect little match in here and one second as well I'm thinking that we could have hair a little bit stuck there we go let's see whether we're gonna place her I think this makes more sense am I right so this like that this like that we need them to be glued down 
and this one and this one one moment please and it's easy to remember because this was about to cover this this one was about to cover this one so that's okay that's lovely I love the 3d feel because we are adding dimension to with the cardboard so that's helping a lot what's there oh yeah we need to kind of help it out a little bit to make this I probably could have double the cardboard on that one but it's all good okay that is super jolly. there we go where's that one? it's here <laughs> it's here now we could have it like this and actually turning this closer mm. this is bothering me now because you can see the gap oh it's so pretty it is such a pretty design overall and honestly it's nothing to do with me it's just such a lovely combination of elements together um one minute let's have a look no this this probably is as it should be so i'm gonna now glue it down oops oops oops, oops. There we go. This is not stock, which should be, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. There we go. Oops, that's a little bit too much of glue. We can get rid of this one a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now let's help it out when it's drying to kind of have this one up. Oops, Ginny Mac. I, I got scared because there was tiny touch of glue but it's not hot anymore so <laughs> that was a little bit of whew, of what's going on there but no it's fine and in theory look I'm gonna glue her down because she's very happy being there on that on that uh, bend uh, on that seesaw being just right there and it's not then that much of a seesaw she's like sitting on the seesaw but she's also on the on the um, mushroom so I think it just it is just right there we go let's lift her up a little bit super pretty and then we have this bit which I'm thinking we could still do something there so maybe it's this flower one second yeah mm -hmm something there is missing this flower or no no too small just does not the on the, the one thing I can do is just move it a bit closer which is also okay or change that and make it a tiny bit lower which is also okay look if you're not happy with something just rip it gently and just see if you can change change things a little bit around unless it's the whole project being ripped then no but if it's a tiny element that is bothering you and it's gonna help you out altogether then just change it and don't be afraid and don't be thinking oh what did I do no 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 it's okay you know sorry I'm not even sure if I'm in the camera right now but let's have this one like there okay something like that I need to get rid of oh no oh well one second <laughs> oh there we go that will do that will do it's as if meant to be there and there you go now now my mushroom you are in the right spot there then this one probably underneath it yes exactly and this one possibly a little bit more going down there voila you may think that oh it's just mushrooms <laughs> well sometimes it's a bit more than just mushrooms or you know 
I love it there which still gives me a little bit of extra space there doesn't mean that I'm missing something now because I got rid of I got rid of this feeling that's I'm sorry the alarm to pick up kids from school because when you're creative you may forget <laughs> you may forget that's the truth um um, one moment, maybe on the papers that I have cut, maybe there's something that I could use and cut a smaller or not. I don't know, let's see. I doubt it because I looked through them mostly and just uh, there wasn't anything of this kind that could be, you know, maybe, no. No, no more time. <laughs> Chillax, no. Uh, oh, no. Um, back to reindeer just to have a look. Maybe maybe we're going to change the mind and he's going to be there after all. No, I think I think the color scheme for this one is such a lovely one that let's leave it as it is. And oh, I know. One second. Last look here. Maybe you know what it is just right okay as it is so I'm super happy about that super hot glue gun because it's so hot you really have to be mindful of what you're doing right now do not burn yourself seriously now he goes there filling the gap just right just right isn't it and I'm gonna just add the glue here Ooh. oopsie <laughs> I got another fright but no it's fine <laughs> I didn't burn myself during this process which sometimes happens actually I'm gonna say it happens a lot I cannot believe it that we did it uh, what a joy and pleasure that was one thing that I probably would love to do is uh, grab a white gesso grab a brush like a delicate brush to do a little bit of gessoing on top let's see I'm thinking and why not to have a little bit of that delicate whiteness going on because yeah I like that and I think we're gonna do wet splashes of course and I'm gonna just do a little bit of that white here which I think it's gonna sort of I don't know it's gonna give this extra feel I guess at least to me <laughs> and I hope to use them so this is reversed canvas it's like a shadow box without a glass without being behind you could technically put it in some shadow box as well just like that so that's that that would be great oh wow so um, the way I'm gessoing this is I'm I love adding white gesso on the on the cup on the of the lid so I can have the delicate amount of gesso and it's dry as well and it's so much easier to do a little bit of gessoing now how absolutely gorgeousness this is now as well a touch of white here a touch of white here and <laughs> of course here as well Ooh, some hot glue elements there we go no that is gorgeousness thank you so much thank you so oh I love this thank you so much a Blanche for making such a gorgeous amazing paper collection love it such a pleasure to create when you have the absolutely most gorgeousness elements ever love it how much I wish to be able to paint <gasps> mushrooms like that oh I would love that you know how much I love mushrooms I love fairies I love flowers I love bugs and butterflies I love woodland theme I love autumn season it is just right so I would love to paint mushrooms like that. I have painted mushroom. Where is it? Oh, it's here. It's completely different. <laughs> it's more more of um, this one is magical with the glitter. It's realistic and it's not. It's a mixture of both. It's on my Instagram actually as well. 
Let's see that. No. Wow. Wow. Now we can do a little bit of extra layer of white as well. And look, I'm adding the white on the edges of the papers as well, of those mushrooms, to bring them stand out even more. Look, this edging of white, it's gonna help them to stand out from the whole design. Be very careful because you can paint <laughs> the background or something. Um, look. It may not be that helpful or visible to some of the designs, but it's definitely something that I love doing. There we go. And same for the outside. Have a touch of here. Wowie. Okay, I think we can call this one done except the splashes. So let's do the final touch of splashes. Let's do some splashes. Woohoo! <laughs> and this is the <laughs> this is the final touch of Marta's projects. All of the projects, splashes, splashes, splashes. But I think it's tying everything together. It looks gorgeous, nice. It gives this magical feel even more. Um, and it's not for everyone the same feel, obviously. But I love it so much. Oh wow, we. Another gorgeousness autumn project done. <laughs> wow, my friends, here is that. I really hope you liked this one and enjoyed it. Uh, quite right, wasn't it? The most beautiful collection of this season for sure. If you have uh, heard about some amazing papers that I didn't discover, some designs that are just out of this world, like this one, for example, please always message me, email me, let me know, even leave the comments here about some fabulous, amazing, put the links as well so it's easier to find links to some amazing paper collections because maybe in your country there is something I never heard of and I would love to. For now I'm gonna finish it that. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm gonna wrap up here wishing you a beautiful lovely day, evening, maybe morning, whenever you are watching depending on the side of the world you are in. I'll chat to you soon. Happy crafting! Bye for now!